Yo, what is up, YouTube? Vito here. Welcome to Spray and Slay Episode 3. Here is a quick reminder of the rules in case you're just joining in and this is your first episode watching. Now, up to this point, I've been doing two matches per episode. I decided I would change this for the remainder of the placement matches. So we're going to kick this off with three matches for this episode. This way, I'll be able to finish my placement matches within the next two episodes, and we'll be doing slightly faster progress. Now, I might not show all three matches. I will most likely only show two, and that will be for every episode, I think. Now, since this one is Plaza, I would like to show this to you guys, so we'll make sure we get this one in. I'm actually really happy we're playing Plaza, because I love Plaza. It's one of my favorite matches in the game. A uh, quick change I had to make for my sensitivity because um, I've been playing in 5 sensitivity uh, since recently in my main account. I've been playing like essentially the, the equivalent of 5 horizontal, but just recently I decided to make it even vertical and horizontal and um, it's worked really well for me. I've been sticking to that for the time being. Now just as a quick reminder, a quick refresher, I am allowed to use a sniper in this event, it's a precision weapon. Uh, power weapons are allowed and the sniper rifle is fun to watch, so I don't want to spoil you guys and uh, make this series boring by not sniping ever. Well, I guess I'm spoiling you, but in a good way, right? You get the point. I want to snipe. I don't care if it makes doesn't make perfect sense. The point of this is to be fun before it is super challenging, because at the end of the day, it doesn't make a big difference, but sniping is really fun to watch and really fun to do. With how rarely it happens in this game, I would like to at least take the opportunities I have to do so. Now, that was an opportunity for a triple kill. I looked away for some reason. Oh my god, it's creating nades. I had a triple kill opportunity there, didn't look at the right time, looked away for whatever reason. It's okay, we'll still make it work if we get there fast enough. I oh, know, unfortunately, this guy rotated as I pushed through this side. I understood him here, which is kind of unfortunate. He might take the, the first kill, so there's no multi-kill opportunity here. We'll just relocate. Oh, this is looking at something. And I get teammated not once, but what looks like twice. Oh wait, maybe that second nade was a teammate. I definitely took one teammate. And um there went the perfection opportunity, unfortunately. Oh, it's okay, I don't really plan on getting a perfection at this point. I can tell these guys are getting a lot better than uh, the people I've been matching the previous episodes. Which is something I'm kinda thrilled about because the matches have been uh, obviously too easy. And it might still be for a little bit. I can tell there's like an improvement skill wise. Look at this name. No one throws a nade like this. No one ever does that. So you can tell this guy's pretty decent at the game, right? He knows what he's doing. So there's that at least. We can tell there's some progress being made. Oh, this is looking like something. This is looking like something. If I can get a sick no scope here. Oh, we get it. Where's the overkill? Where is he? Nowhere to be found. That's unfortunate. I think it's, did he spawn across? Did he almost spawn across? I really don't think I ever had a chance to get that, to be honest. Because by the time they spawned, I'm pretty sure my multi kill had timed out. So that could have been nice, I guess. Ooh, hit him with a god nade. Someone left. Probably red team. Yep, it looks like my entire team's still here, so. Spring jump. No, I'm not very good at spring jumping. Sometimes. Last ring. Oh, no, I'm so bad at spring jumping. Okay, well, let's just forget about this. You don't even need to spring jump, you can literally just stabilize. I'm just trying to show off and I'm feeling completely miserably and terribly. Oh, getting shot in the back, him with a no scope. Nope. Ah, oh, there was a guy behind me, in front of me, on top of me, side. I... Oh, no, no, no. Am I getting spawn killed? I think I'm getting spawn killed. Indeed, I am getting spawn killed. Just in the sledge, avoid the grenades. Untouchable, essentially. There we go. Enough thing he could do. I was gonna lift up for sure because I need to hit him. It did not actually hit him. I like I don't know how he dodged that, but he lifted anyways. Makes very little difference at the end of the day. Oh, I just saw the story fall. I, I forgot about that, guys. But if you didn't know, there's been a sandbox update, which is kind of funny because I talked about it the very first episode of the series. I said something along the lines that it would be funny if 2 actually like did a sandbox update while I did this. And I was like, I hope not. 
And uh, I'm not gonna go in very specific detail. Uh, they talked about it in the forums, I think, or like the Halo Waypoint website. And essentially what they did was slightly nerf the Storm Rifle in a way that's pretty much impossible to notice. It just overheats faster, which is pretty much absolutely pointless in terms of like kill potential. That has a little less aim assist, which also doesn't matter because you don't go for headshots. It's a body shot weapon, so you don't need good accuracy. Yeah, I'll just show you. I'll use it and I'll show you the next little real difference. They also nerfed their Brute Plasma Rifle, which I'm happy about. Uh, it does slightly less damage, but it's honestly, it feels just as good. Maybe it's not as much of a laser now, but... I don't know, it still feels really good. See, this thing, there's essentially no difference. I don't know what kind of a nerf they had in mind, but... Made no difference. However, they did buff the DMR ever so slightly. It feels... It's usable up close again, which is nice. It used to be like holding a bar of soap before, and it would just like slip everywhere with no auto-aim whatsoever up close. Now it's usable again. Um, they also buffed the carbine, so there's less spread on it. Now the carbine is actually harder to use in terms of skill because there's less um there's a lot less auto aim range like uh, the red reticle range so it feels a little harder to use but the shots are very consistent so it actually feels nice that's exactly how the br should have been but for some reason it's a carbine only the carbine the br is still trash but don't worry about that but yeah i guess there's some it was an overall positive update but it really did not change the storm rifle or the brute plasma rifle all that much Oh god, the nades, what the heck? I'm trying to wait this. Oh hey, how are you how how are you doing dude? What's up man? I didn't notice my ammo was running away anyways, so I probably would have not, wouldn't have gotten the kill there, I wouldn't have lived. So whatever, I'm okay with taking a death. I guess it does look like you burn through the ammo a little faster, which I'm not sure if they actually changed. I'm guess I'm gonna assume they did. But overall, like the the kill the killing ability of a storm rifle is pretty much unchanged, uh, all things considered. Maybe it's harder to like keep the weapon over a long period of time. Maybe it's harder to get multi kills, but really, it's essentially the same weapon in terms of killing power. And I would like to phase up here for the last kill. Hopefully, my teammate doesn't get this. All right, let's try something. Oh, someone stole it. Are you kidding? All right, I gotta phase up my teammate. Oh yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, well, that was that. Uh. I mean, I, I was kind of praising those guys at first, and all of a sudden it just kind of fell apart. We're like in the diamond threshold. We're definitely moving on up. Um, there's some progress being made here, but, you know, we're not quite there yet. I don't think I've played Spaces yet, so there's a chance I'll showcase this and just skip the next one. Um, we'll see, really. Depends if the match is worth it, if anything interesting happens. I guess you guys will find out. Oh, look at that. Supreme coffee. I was just drinking coffee. How fitting is that? Uh, so on this map, I always go for overshield first, get square grenaded, and just die. And uh, apparently not. This guy has no idea what's going on. This guy's using the gun that's got nerfed. You can tell the difference already. Just kidding, you really can't. Because my overshield is already gone. You just didn't use it properly. Well, so this is also a weapon that got nerfed. I was just talking about it in the plaza game. Um, it's a bit less of a laser. But it range is a little hard to use. But you can tell it still melts people like really quickly, like their shells are gone instantly. That, that didn't really change. You know what, for good measure, I'm just not even going to use a shoddy. I'm just going to keep using the, the brute plasma rifle to show you that the nerf they did was essentially worthless. So I'm just going to rock this with the AR. No shotgun, no problem. If these guys want a the shotgun, they can go and get it back. They're probably going to spawn right on top of it actually, which is kind of... Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure. This guy's gonna hate himself. I'm pretty... No, we lived. That's crazy. Well, more power to him. Oh, well, apparently your whole entire team's on me. Oh, he hits me with a little slow key bag as well. Who the heck is that guy? You better run, buddy. I'll be back for you. Keep running. Keep running. I'll be right here. Right here. Oh, he died, actually. That was the wrong guy. Whatever. I remember, I remember his little helmet. His little locust helmet. And Helos Armor. He thinks he can get away from me, even though I don't know his gamer tag. I know exactly what it looks like. I have your picture, buddy. There he is, there he is. Is that him? It is! Rodzilla! Or Rodzilla. Or Rod... Freaking Rod, man. Come here, Rod. What you got, punk? Oh! Oh, what now, Rod? What now, bro? Eat this. You punk. 
I don't even know who needed me. I'm pretty sure that was my teammate. Whatever, I got Rod back. Got freaking body slammed. Well worth it. Oh my god, can you not blow everything up? Do you mind? I still got the US again, no problem here. Oh look at it's Rodzilla about to get ninja through lift! What now Rodzilla? God, how dare he? My teammate keeps rocketing me and it's starting to really trigger me, man. Man, this is the probably the worst part. I, my teammate is throwing swear. Okay, alright, okay, okay. I've had enough. I'm, you know what? Just go by yourself, man. I'm not trying to help you anymore. I think more damage by my teammates than anyone on the opposite team right now. I first hit right to the nade. Somehow it didn't hit me. Oh. Yeah. I'll, I'll take it. As you can tell, this gun is still really, really powerful. Like, it's... I, I really don't understand how they can nerf the BR to the point they did, and yet take a gun that's been a problem for, like, the entire duration of its release. Or, like, I should rephrase that. A gun has been a problem since the day it came out in terms of strength, and I don't know how they can just, like, not finish nerf it, but somehow the BR has been, like, the most tragic nerf of all time in Halo ever. Like, I think went from, like, being really overpowered to being absolutely worthless. But I can't tell why they can't do that to the automatic weapons. Like, their AR nerf was essentially, like, it just made it a precision weapon. The Storm Rifle nerf just made it burn to be ammo slightly quicker. And then this, uh, what, this lowered the damage a little? I don't really see the difference. I really don't get it. You, like, you should not be able to just destroy an entire team with this thing. But hey man, that's just my two cent. I, wh what do I know about this game? I don't know anything about Halo, so who am I to give advice and just tell people to see what they should do? Just saying though. Just saying, I think it's a little, uh... A little, uh, you know what I'm saying, you know, it's just a little overpowered, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, what do I know? What just... a Hydra? That was a... Ang that was an angle and a half right there. I respect that. I always appreciate some good Hydra usage. Speaking of which, I want the Hydra now. Where is it? Get up. Nope. Alright, well, I definitely got shot from this side somewhere. Oh, here it is. This guy has it. Him with the long range AR. Missing a little. There we go. No problem. AR precision weapon. Oh, this thing's probably empty. Yep. Four shots in it. That's enough for two kills if I play it right. Let's try and make it two kills. Place your bets. Am I gonna get two kills with this? Four. Hydra shots. Pretty sure there's a guy hiding back here. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? At this rate, I might not even get one kill. Because I'm dying. Dead. I'm dying. Dead. Died. Died in. Alright, all right. here's kill number one. Okay, we have enough ammo for a single kill. I almost blew it, but I hit the last shot that mattered. Place your bets. Two shots left. Oh, it was a Rodzilla as well. Ooh, Rodzilla. Ooh. Ooh. Take that deep key bag and sit on it. Damn here. How's it going, buddy? Nah, no, you can't be using the pistol. No, no, no. This is the year of the assault rifle, my dude. This is a real easy jump. You can just, like, crawl jump up here. I don't know why I'm trying to Just turn jump. By the way, my controller is actually broken. I need a replacement that hopefully will come in tomorrow. Um, I haven't been playing the game too, too much because of that. Because after a while, it gets in the way. Like, if I play for, like, two or three hours, my controller starts acting up. Which is weird, but, like, when I just get on, it's completely fine. But when I play for, like, two hours, it starts, like, kind of pooping. And, like, the controller, what happens is that I dropped it. So the left thumbstick will randomly click on its own. And that makes me crouch. Sometimes I'll be stuck crouching and I just can't uncrouch unless, like, I spam it and, like, freaking wiggle it. And it's really annoying. Oh. Got rods a little bit of rockets, crouching bottom mid, and done enough. Not enough, Rod. Or it has to be you, man. You know what? I want some more Hydra action. Let me get some more Hydra action. You know, maybe I should do this more often, just getting random weapons and going for challenges. Trying to get a certain amount of kills or something. Because this is kind of fun. There's no one bottom mid. No, where are we gonna spawn? I have a feeling you're gonna spawn on 
this side right here. And this healing was wrong. He probably spawned over to the Hydra building. Oh, look at this. Oh, what's up, Prod? Are you gonna push me? I bet he wants me dead. He's gonna fly at me. There's no way he doesn't. There's no way he doesn't. Oh, my teammate's scaring me. Wow, oh, okay, teammate. He kind of ruined it for me, man. Oh, oh, oh! oh. No one saw that. Delete the evidence. Alright, two hydro kills already. Man, I'm a beast with this weapon. There's only two guys left. It's, oh, there is only. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm putting you guys through this. Hey, it's me, the Hydra expert. Come back here, Rod. Take this Hydra. Oh, let's get a triple. Triple kill! He didn't spawn on this side. He's on Chikari's side, I'm pretty sure. And he's about to die. Oh, my teammate got owned. Oh, it's Rod for the last kill. Rod, hold this, buddy. Hold this, buddy. How about that, Rod? Huh? How about it, Rod? How about it, Rod? Get it. Oh, you get it, Rod. Uh, I better not see any of you guys being like, oh, that was me. I'm Rodazilla. Good game, man. Sorry about the teabag. I swear if any of you guys do that in the comment section. Watch. Alright, well, this is awesome. My last game is actually Mercy, so I don't have to I don't even have to show this. I didn't want to show this because I've already played two games that I want to show, and I've played Mercy like every episode of the series so far. So I can just like get this out of the way, knock it out real quick, and um yeah, that'll be that. The second. There he is. Double. Oh, the over potential. Oh god, it's so close. That's unfortunate. Oh my god. What up? Whoa, 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 bro, bro, bro. No, 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 no. Look at his design on his helmet. <laughs> okay, where is this guy? There's one guy left and you just won't quit. Oh my god, this is the worst. I mean, okay, so I have two options here. This guy's just hiding. He's the last one on left because I literally just sniped your team until they all quit out. But I can keep sniping him. Or I can just sweat out the three minutes and be a nice guy. I mean, I don't really benefit from this anyways because he'll just... I won't reach 50 no matter how fast I kill him. But this guy at the same time is also wasting our time because he could just quit out and not lose any more points than he would if he just stays until the end, so... Part of me is kind of resentful. But since I made them quit out, I'm gonna be a nice guy, and I'm just gonna leave him alive. I'm not gonna ruin his KD any more than this. Or are my teammates aiming at me? I'm kinda nervous here. My teammates are pointing their gun at me because they think I'm gonna betray him. Whoops. Hey, if someone's gonna kill him, it's gonna be me, alright? This is my kill, not yours, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I guess that was some sort of bonding experience. Uh, I guess next time I have to go easy on them with the sniper because I actually made all those guys quit out by going so hard. So I'm kind of glad it went the way it did in a way. Um, this makes me sure I didn't want to put it in there. Anyways, that was it for episode 3 of Spring Slate. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back next time to conclude the placement matches. Only three games left. Until then, I hope you guys have a good time. Take care, stay awesome, and I'll see you next time. Peace.